you are having difficulty departing a specific area, the computer will provide hints. The door is locked, cost. but we can talk through the window. Please consult the console if you have. So you're up. Wasn't sure if you were dead or just a core. But you're not looking too worse for wear. How are you feeling? Oh, yeah, I get that. In my first room, I nearly had a panic attack. Compared to that, you seem pretty composed. Which is good. For a second, I thought you were another victim of... whatever this is. In any case, I think we need to work together. You know what they say about two heads, right? I don't know if you can. The way it's set up, we have to work together on this. I found a computer passcode, but mine's already unlocked. So I'm thinking, maybe it's not for me, maybe it's for you. But there's a delivery box we can use to transfer items. Here, you should be able to grab it. Breakable. If there's an axe nearby, maybe try smashing it. Nice find. If you have an extra one, send it my way. I still have a free slot. Hey, uh, that looks useful. You mind transferring that over to me?
Perfect. I know just where to put this. And there. Slotted. Okay. So we got power going to the fans. Now we have to figure out how to get them all on at once. This is just a wild guess, but try fiddling with the console on the platform. Fans are all on, both in your room and in mine. We're almost out of here. The lights started pulsing when you hit that switch. I wonder if that's a clue.
looks like we can get out of here. Don't know where that door goes, but hopefully we can still communicate. There's an intercom here in my room. I've been yelling into it for a while now, but no response. Maybe it's somewhere on the other side of that door? Then we'll be in touch.
Stay away from me. So, how do I know you ain't one of them? That other guy, he helped too. Until he got pissed off, I wouldn't give him my shit. Fine. You do what you gotta do. But I ain't making any promises. You may have got the O2 running, but I don't know you, so don't try anything. If I did know something, why should I trust you? Food. Just give me something, anything to eat, and it's yours. Oxygen tanks. Lasted just long enough until everything turned back on. The other guy? He kept going for the suit. But I was smart. Bird in hand, baby. If I did know something, why should I trust you? Yeah, but nowhere in this damn fun house does it say we have to work together. That's none of your business. Hold on. You got food? You gotta give it to me. I don't have the energy to stand. Oh. You for real. But as hungry as I am, might as well be chocolate pie. Fine. I'll trade you what I got.
is completed. Please proceed through the exit door to begin the next phase. Of the what the hell was that? It was more than just shaking. It sounded like it, it, it growled. Well, whatever it was, it don't matter. You may have found a way out, but it's still their way. And I'm not going where they tell me to, especially if some monster is on the other side of it. That's the wrong way to play this. You think they're gonna do all this and let you walk away? So you go on ahead. I'm gonna find my own path. Because walking through that door is gonna get us all killed. That's a bet. Warning. Hostile creatures detected in the area ahead. Holy shit, that was close. <sighs> that makes two of us. Well, what about you? How you holding up? Fun isn't how I describe what just happened to us, but uh, hey, cope whatever way you like. Anyway, now that we aren't being chased by angry xenomorphs, let's see if we can get you over here to my side. So, uh, so there's a computer here that opens this gate, but it says it's missing a control rod. Whatever that is. It must be on your side, buried under all this junk. Uh, talk about a needle in a haystack. I'm confident you can. But yeah, I'd, I'd try powering up that machine behind you first. It looks like you could use it to get junk out of the pile. Once you find the rod, we can use the transfer box. There's notes here on how to install it. Doesn't seem too hard. <laughs> Famous last words. Pass that over to me.
Good work. I'll see if I can slot this in and get the gate open. God, there's so many wires and buttons. But, um, according to the diagram, I just need to slot it into the socket. Like, uh, like plugging in a router, right? How hard could it be? Oh, it turns out very, very hard. Um, <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, uh, I think I got it. Um, it was just upside down. Okay, um, let me just shove it in here. Get in there, you stupid... Holy crap! The gate's open. Okay, hurry through in case it's shut. Okay, hopefully this will get easier now that we don't have to transfer things. Huh? What the hell? Did you hear that? Don't come any closer or I swear to God. Easy. I wasn't trying to start anything. Just pass it through. You. You're the one who left me for dead back in the first room. Lady, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just trying to make it out of here. Same as you. Will you please tell this woman I'm not the enemy here? I didn't leave nobody. I met one guy and you. I've never seen this lady in my life. That's bullshit. I was screaming at you from behind the glass, and you just walked away. How do you know I could even hear you? Or see you? Glass might have been one way. These people are fucking with your head. Wait, you know him? Well, well even so, do, do you think he's trustworthy? You couldn't have known him for long. I forgot about the fucking puzzles. God damn it. We may not have a choice here. So far, none of the puzzles have required three people, but that might change. And it's possible that glass was one way. Soundproof, maybe two. In that case, you wouldn't have heard or seen me yelling for help. God, what a head fuck. I can't believe I'm saying this, but yeah, we can work together. For now. But I'm keeping a close eye on you. <sighs> Thank God. I have enough trouble with them. I don't need you on my back, too. Well, let's just start over then. Agreed? Whatever gets you off my back, I'm all for it. You can start by telling us your story. I take it you got trapped here like the rest of us? Not trapped. Kidnapped. And I aim to find my way out. Then we need to finish this experiment. Best I can tell, it's the only way forward. No way. Uh-uh. I don't go where they tell me. What? In case you haven't noticed, we don't have a choice. The contract was explicit. We make it to the end, they take us home, everyone gets paid. I don't care about their damn money. And on stations like this, there's lots of other ways out. Places they didn't intend for us to go. And how do you know so much about this station, huh? I don't, lady. I just use my eyes instead of what they tell you to see. Yeah, right. Well, I say we keep moving from room to room. What do you think? Thanks. I'm glad we're on the same page. I was in this room earlier and got chased back by the monsters. But I did make some progress before then. Basically, it looks like to get through the next door, we need to open this case. The case is wired to the numbers surrounding it. Get the numbers right, and I think the safe opens. But if we get it wrong, our overall score goes down. Don't ask me how I know. Or we can stop this bullshit and find another way. I'm thinking we should explore that upper level. You're not helping. Not gonna lie, all these numbers are extremely overwhelming. But having been here for a bit, maybe I can help you make sense of it. We're gonna have to work together to get out of this alive. You found any audio logs? What logs? What are you talking about? Oh, you didn't know? 
They have slates scattered around this place for audio recordings. I haven't found yours yet. Well, if I find yours, I'll do us all a favor and leave it on mute. You know they ain't gonna pay you, right? And how can you be so sure they Because no amount of creds is gonna buy our silence. Yeah. You know, you say that, but I can think of a number. Fibonacci. Sounds like someone who owns a restaurant. He was a mathematician. So? He still had to eat. Maybe he cooked up some spaghetti one day and realized it was his true calling. Hey, what about these numbers on the whiteboard? Looks like we just need to figure out... <laughs> Whatever you just did, keep doing it. The machines seem to have updated with the right number. Machines look like they can be messed with. What's your deal, anyway? How do you know so much about star stations? That's none of your business. Well, we're all in this together, so it kind of is. Yeah, that much we can agree on. Twenty-three. 
3.30? I don't even know anymore. Access detected. Initiating emergency protocols. What the fuck did you do? We found another way out. You idiot! The number is counting down now. It's getting lower. <laughs> Not my problem. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh my god. Oh. What's that smell? Oh, hell no. Are these all test subjects? And you still think you can trust these people? Look at this shit. No. It's because they broke the rules. We do the puzzles, we get out. Those bodies, you see how they want to do us. Congratulations on obtaining a golden key card. Please proceed to the final room to claim your reward. Okay, you heard the announcement. That key card is our ticket out of here. I know it looks bad, but we don't know how these people died. I say we keep moving forward. You read my mind. Either way, for everything we've been through, it better be worth it.
behalf of all of us here at Project Mammon, I want to congratulate the three of you on making it this far. Now, before we send you on your way, I'm sure you're all curious about the number on the board. Some of you may have guessed this already, but that number represents your collective score for completing the study. What you may not have realized is that number also represents your compensation. Your collective compensation. Which brings us to the final portion of the study. In front of you are credits, as well as a special gift from me to you. Only those who have taken the gift are allowed to leave. But, as you might suspect, there's a catch. There are only two gifts, and as such, no more than two of you can return home. Which means one of you must be removed from the experiment. Oh my god. See? I told you this is some bullshit. I can only speculate how your minds are processing this information, doing the crucial calculus in your heads. But your thought processes are only half the picture. What matters in the end are your actions. Thank you. And good luck. What do you think that means? Removed. It means exactly what you think it means. They want one of us to die. You damn right. If anyone's gonna eat dirt, it's them. You don't get it. We have to do this. Think about it. This is how they buy our silence and let us go. We do this. It's mutually assured destruction. Nah, there's always another way. Gotta be. There isn't. And I think it's pretty clear what needs to be done. I read your profile. Especially the part about being a member of the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, I read that too. And to be honest, it was tough choosing between the two of you. And on top of that, I don't even know if I can kill you. You're too damn scary. Him, on the other hand, I read your profile, Aubrey, and a whole lot more. You worked on this station. You're a part of this as much as the voice on the speaker. So you're both gonna gang up on me then, huh? Alright, I see how it is. I admit it. I worked on this station. Helped put together the guts. But that's it. I didn't know what we were building or what it was for. At no point did I work for them. That's the truth. I don't believe you. And that makes this decision easy. At the end of the day, only two of us can go through that door, right? We get rid of him, we split the creds, and get the hell out of here. And in the process, we get revenge on one of the people responsible for putting us here in the first place. Wait, what? Why would you do that? I can't see why it would be. The voice on the speaker was pretty clear. But I admit, I don't know for sure. You don't get it. One of us needs to die, on camera. There's no way you got them all, so they'd know if you were scheming to get out of here. I'm sorry, but there's only one way out of this. Whoa, what the fuck? Sorry, kid. You did this to yourself. And what about him? Are you just gonna kill him too? No, just you. There. It's done. I guess all that's left to do now is take our credits and walk out that door. Thanks. Normally I wouldn't turn my back on anyone, but after all this, you've earned my trust. I think it's time for a long vacation. What do you think? Paradiso?
Maybe I'll see you there. If you're buying, that is. Thank you for your participation. 